Our democracy is fundamentally broken. We live in a dangerous era of fierce partisan divisions. Voters are trapped in a failing system in which it's nearly impossible to vote for change in Congress. The problem is that almost all of us are locked in districts that skew dramatically toward one party or the other. We have no power to affect outcomes or vote in competitive elections. A stunning 85% of seats in the House of Representatives are so safe for one party that FairVote can predict nearly every winner, two years in advance. Now it's worse than just gerrymandering or money in politics. The problem is our winner-take-all system. When just one person is elected to represent everyone in a district, partisanship and gridlock are rewarded rather than collaboration and innovation. We're left with a zero-sum game, and voters always lose. Winner-take-all elections have moved us to this place where we are completely ineffective. Politicians on both sides of the aisle are only concerned about their primary, and they move further and further to the extreme. It doesn't have to be this way, though. The Fair Representation Act has just been introduced to Congress to fundamentally change our elections for the better. The Fair Representation Act would make sure every vote counts. Everyone could vote in an election that matters. I'm sponsoring the Fair Representation Act because Congress is broken. It is hyper-partisan, it is far too polarized. The Fair Representation Act creates a structure where members of Congress are incentivized to work together. The Fair Representation Act is the most comprehensive approach to changing how we elect Congress in American history. Instead of districts that divide us into red and blue America, the plan would require districts that elect between three and five members. Congress would stay the same size, but districts would be a little bigger. Representatives would be elected using ranked choice voting, which gives voters the freedom to rank their candidates instead of picking just one. Ranked choice voting gives voters a stronger voice and reinvents our zero-sum politics. It would ensure that a majority of voters win a majority of seats, but everyone helps to elect their fair share in a district. Winner-take-all elections would be a thing of the past. Take two states like Oklahoma and Connecticut, for example, that both unfairly shut out voters from the minority party from being represented at all. About one in three voters in Oklahoma are Democrats, and almost half of Connecticut is Republicans. These voters are unfairly shut out from representation by district lines. Under the Fair Representation Act, all political parties would be fairly represented, and each state would have vigorous competition for the swing seats up for grabs. Voters would finally be able to elect ideological diversity within the parties. For instance, an Oklahoma Democrat or a Connecticut Republican. By using ranked choice voting, we can give Americans more choices and ensure that the entire electorate is represented, not just the ideological basis. For the first time in decades, Congress could actually function the way it was meant to. Our politics would open up to more voices, wider debate, and greater diversity. The Fair Representation Act would be a game changer for American politics. It would mean that everybody's vote counts. You don't have to live in a swing state or a swing district in order to have your vote count. Everybody's vote would count equally under the Fair Representation Act. And it would scramble the winner-take-all zero-sum dynamics that are just tearing this country apart. It totally changes the incentives of politics. It will reduce polarization and partisanship and give every person an equal voice in our politics. The Fair Representation Act is a win for everyone. Republicans in blue states, Democrats in red states, people of color and women are all underrepresented in our current system. This act is the only way to give everyone leverage and influence, no matter where you live and regardless who draws the lines. This is the right thing to do to give voters the strong voice they deserve in our elections. Finally, democracy of, by, and for the people. If you want to fix our broken democracy, share this video, sign our petition, and contact your legislator today.